All right, man. What's going on, y'all? Drayski back with another video. So today we are making, are we doing the uh, ratings for, or my rankings for the top five NBA template builds in the small forward position? So uh, what I look at usually is how the small forward position in 2K is utilized and what exactly, you know, like a lot of small forwards in 2K. Nets, most of the time they have to be 3 and D. Um, not all the time, but I feel like I would more of want 3 and D players on my team for the small forward position. So, um, and they need to be versatile defenders. Uh, you should be able to guard at least 1 through 4. Or somewhat be able to guard 1 through 4. As well as have like an all-around scoring. Um, I feel like a lot of people do end up having no ball handle so that's a thing but a lot of these bills these bills all have ball handle to some degree so that's another thing like it, you'll be able to ball handle a little bit but let's get into our number five so at number five i have a uh, jimmy butler here so i really like the jimmy butler uh build jimmy butler has a very solid all around able to do everything type build i really like how it's laid out 84 close shot gets you a uh, masher on gold you get an 85 layup giant slayer hall of fame with the uh go after that all that stuff um two points off of that fearless on gold though you get an 80 driving dunk with a 40 standing always nice to have that 40 standing allows you to get some standing dunks you get the 81 post control getting you that post span technician on gold you get a 76 mid-range with a 79 three pretty solid ratings there uh 81 on the free throw 80 pass accuracy with an 80 ball handle so i don't like that the 80 ball handle that's like one i think 80 ball handle do get you some dribble moves but it's one point off of getting i believe either speed booster or um speed booster or uh blow buys but we're, we're gonna look at it anyway uh 75 speed with ball really nice 87 perimeter with an 89 steel solid there can defend the paint to some degree with a 59 interior doesn't have a block though um but you get a 60 offensive rebound which is actually really nice to have you also get in a 45 defensive so you'll be able to grab some defensive but that 60 offensive is actually pretty pretty unique um 80 speed 75 excel 67 strength all that stuff uh 60 vertical so you can get the quick drops with this build as well um so let, let's let's take a, a quick look into what um so I, he does have a strength to match with to get that uh fearless where you need it to be uh everything is pretty much where it needs to be for the most part um you see you get the unpluckable silver the mid-range shot you could honestly you could probably lower it to a 72 uh, to keep Midi Magician on silver, but, you know, they put it at a 76, so we just can keep it there. But you could, you know, realistically, realistically, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, this is high enough. That this gets you blinders on silver. We get the 80 pass. Usually, I would go with a 77, uh, but you do get an 80 pass, though. Um, I was... Yep, we're one ball handle off and one speed off of getting a speed booster on silver. So if you did edit this, I would probably lower this to a 72, increase that, increase that, lower that to some degree, put a point into here, get that speed booster on silver. This is genu This is probably something I would do with the build. Like if I were to make it, I would just edit those little two detail, two minute details there, and um, end up getting that stuff. I would try to get an 82 pass if anything, get that touch pass with silver. But we do get the 87 perimeter, which gets you that challenger on gold. Told you guys about that. Really nice badge to have. Off ball pass and all that stuff. We got those. We are getting interceptor on gold with this 89 steel we get the glove and right stick ripper on silver so interceptor is i feel like that's one of the that's the better badge to have anyway unless you just reach a lot um and then we got the 60 offensive which is giving us this rebound chaser as well as giving us well the post control is also giving us that post playmaker on silver so really nice build here for the jimmy butler build 
I do think that this is probably one of the better small forwards in the game. In my opinion, I feel like it's probably one of the better ones. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the number four. All right, you guys. So for number four, we have the truth. Paul Pierce. So he got an 85 close shot with an 87 driving lane, which is high enough to get that fearless on gold. We get a 73 driving dunk, decent enough to get some dunk packages there. I wish it was a 75. I would probably, if you didn't care about animations, I would edit that a little bit. 85 post control, really nice, because that is getting you unpluckable on gold, as well as a lot of good um, post badges. You get an 86 mid range with an 86 three pretty solid ratings there you get an 86 three is giving us that agent threes on silver really nice there really nice uh we got the 80 ball handle once again i would probably change that a little bit um shit i would honestly try to change that pass accuracy up to a 77 75 speed with balls a couple things that i would definitely change but if you want his animations just leave as is um i don't know what layer package this build gets i didn't go into this build i don't think i don't think i went into this paul pierce build but uh i just like the stats on the 65 interior with an 85 perimeter so you get the uh, all the silver defensive badges you get the 60 steel getting you that interceptor on bronze 60 uh defense rebound 45 offensive really nice there uh lower speed so i probably wouldn't edit much in the playmaking category because you have to change speed acceleration ball handle and speed with ball it would be too many things to change, but he does get an 84 strength, which is actually pretty solid there. Uh, and then use some decent badges in terms of strength. You get a 70 vertical, which I'm assuming that's to get him posterizer on bronze. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. So, as I told you guys, we got the fearless finisher. He get post hook, all that stuff. Post hook on gold, man. Um, at the small forward, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, so it is getting us that posterizer. Um, yeah, we're getting a couple badges there. You get the 85. Oh, no, we don't get the unpluckable gold. It's pluckable silver. That's what it was. Um, but we have a uh, post fade phenom hall of fame. That's the hall of fame badge. You get the dream shake. We got drop stepper, all that stuff. Gold, really nice to have there. 86 on the mid range which is giving us open loose gold as well as come back here hall of fame i told you that 86 is giving us agent three so 86 86 is not bad to have like that's not a bad layout <clears throat> we got an 80 free throw with the 76 uh pass 80 ball handle and 72 speed with ball really solid ratings there across the board uh get you all the bronze badges uh for playmaking usually locks can't dribble anyway or small forward players can't dribble that much anyway so it is a nice change of pace in general with a lot of these builds to be able to have as much uh all around stats that they have and still be able to ball handle you see we get that physical handles on hall i mean yeah on hall of fame too uh 65 interior with that 85 perimeter there uh we get that 60 steel to get that interceptor and yeah, you need 75 speeds getting us that speed booster. And uh, 70 uh, acceleration is getting us fast feet. And then you guys know about the the strength. We getting bulldozer. We getting a move more force. A really solid build all around. All, all around across the board. Paul Pierce is number four for me. So let's get into our number three. All right, you guys. For number three, we have the Brandon Ingram build. Uh, okay, so the Brandon Ingram build, in my opinion, I feel like it is underrated. It's a pretty solid build across the board. You can guard multiple positions decently. Uh, not elite, but decently guard multiple positions. Um, he does have really good finishing stats, really good uh, shooting stats. And uh, I, I got him on here specifically because it's one of the few ball handling uh, small fours on here. You get an 85 uh, ball handle with a 75 speed with ball that's really solid it gets you all of the dribble animations besides like the steve francis and all that stuff the higher end top of the line dribble moves but you can pretty much get everything else i like this build so much because it does have a 90 lay you get the acrobat hall of fame all that stuff look at all these hall of fame layup badges that you end up getting 
and layups are really nice this year. They're cracked. They are cracked. Um, but you see, we get fast twitch and all that stuff on silver. He get a decent little standing dunk here. Um, 80 driving dunk. Telling you that 80 driving dunk is always nice to have. Um, 89 on the mid range is getting us that blinders. I wish you could have a 90 just for the open looks Hall of Fame, but that that would probably be crazy. We got an 81 on the three. I do wish it could be an 82 just to get the claymore if i didn't care about animations i would lower it by one but for this build you would definitely want the animation so we get an 86 on the free throw 75 uh pass accuracy with the 85 uh ball handle so the 85 ball handle getting anchor breaker go really nice 60 uh interior with a 71 perimeter and then you that challenger so you're not gonna really be able to defend or slide your feet as well as you know other locks in other small fours because a lot of them are locks but 71 perimeter you still get enough to contest some shots there you don't really have no steal or block got a decent little rebound here with a 75 uh speed 75 excel 73 on the strength i wish it could be 74 for the bulldozer but they didn't want to give brandon ingram bulldozer um and we got the 62 here on the vertical it's a few things that you could always lower like look you could lower that put that there and get that but i would not want to edit this build because this build actually gets the Giannis layup package you get the Giannis layup package at six eight with a high layup and you know you're gonna probably make a lot of that a lot of those layups and stuff a lot of that stuff is gonna be crazy especially with you know the Giannis layup package and having like a long wingspan being six eight being able to dribble and create um having that Giannis layup package is actually really nice especially to not be the height and get it but uh brandon ingram is my number three he is number three because of the defense though if he had higher defense he would be higher uh but because of the defense i gotta put him at three I do feel like he's better than the Paul Pierce, Jimmy Butler in terms of an individual player. Um, but this is 2K. Not individual player in real life, but on the game. And I, I feel like having more defense stuff is more valuable. So I would get his build number three. So let's get into the number two. For number two, we got the other Paul. The PG-13 Paul. The playoff P Paul. The George Paul of all Pauls. This is who we have here. It's Paul George. All right. So Paul George is my number two. I really like the Paul George build. You got the 85 ball handle, just like the um the Brandon Ingram build. So you can dribble just as good or dribble the same as the Brandon Ingram build. But you get the 80 mid-range, 83 point shot really solid shooting across the board 85 driving dunk which is really nice to have get you the elite lives uh elite regular lives as well as the pro contact you don't get any contact dunks with this though uh 85 uh driving lay with an 81 close shot pretty solid in terms of uh, scoring around the basket 50 standard 65 post really nice but where this bill is gonna get his bread and butter is that perimeter defense is that a 91 get you pick dodger on goal 70 steal there too with a 60 uh defensive rebound really nice there he only gets bronze speed booster though uh so that's something but really nice build here so let's go look at the close shot 81 getting us that fast twitch 85 is getting us giant slayer and then i told you 84 is getting us bunny on goal scooper hall of fame acrobat all that stuff 85 on the dunk really nice let's see this 80 um mid-range you could definitely lower that but i do feel like having everything at an 80 is a nice little threshold uh so i'll probably just all that stuff is gonna stay how it is but once again i told you guys the challenger pick dodger off ball pass hall of fame really nice defense with a 60 interior you get a 70 steal on this build get you right stick ripper and interceptor on bronze i do as i told you guys before i feel like right stick ripper if used correctly is better 
than having a glove, in my opinion. Um, a lot of the skill type abilities on this game are better. But um, we got defense rebound at a 60. And uh, you see he got the 79 there, 74 on the uh, acceleration, 65 on the strength. Pretty solid build all around. Paul George is my number two. So let's get into some honorable mentions. And then let's get into the number one. So honorable mention number one. Honorable mention number one is Carmelo Anthony. I do feel like the Melo build is pretty solid across the board. Um, I don't like that the three was a little low. The mid-range shooting is elite, though. 85 post, though. Uh, really solid there. 87 driving dunk gets you some contact dunks. 87 um, driving lay with that 65 strength is getting us that. Um, it's getting us the fearless on goal. I do feel like if you do want a scoring type build, you could go with this one. I just didn't really, I wasn't a fan of like the defense. Uh, the defense is one thing that I just did not like. So you do get Masher bronze with the 68 close shot, which is crazy that they gave him a 68 close shot. I, I thought it would have been higher than that. Uh, Fearless told you guys you get that uh, one of the driving contact dunk packages. 73 on the uh, standard dunk, getting us that fast twitch. 85 post control, really nice here, man. 92 uh, mid range, getting us midi magician on Holly. So yeah. You already know what Melo can do. We got a 76-3 is getting us that Agent 3 on um, bronze. Get the 80 free throw, 75 pass. 81 on this uh, ball handle with the 81 speed is giving us speed booster on silver. And then he has solid defense in terms of like getting challenger and stuff. But his interior defense is lacking, man. 35, really bad. I don't think Melo was that bad of an interior defender. Um, because he uses strength against people a lot too, as well. I don't think he was really that bad. Uh, 60 defense rebound, though, 70 excel. Um, you only get blow by his bronze, but it is what it is. And uh, 75 vertical that's what you need for the contact dunks. Really nice build, man. The mellow build is a nice build. I, you know, I would recommend making it if you want to be like a scorer. You don't shoot a lot of threes. You want to um, introduce that post-game, post-fade type play style, fading in the mid-range type play style, because you do get post-fade Phenom Holly as well as Midi Magician Holly, so it's really nice to have. But let's get into our honorable mention number two. Honorable mention number two is Jason Tatum. I do feel like the Jason Tatum build is good. It is lacking in certain areas, but... Our number one is pretty much the Tatum build, but better. So I just went with the number one as, uh, like I would have picked Tatum, but nah. Um, Tatum has 77 close shot, 84 uh, layup, really solid there. 83 driving dunk, it sucks because he's one driving dunk rating away from getting the pro contact lobs. So that sucks. Um, I don't even know why they put it at 83. Precision dunker silver, I'm guessing. Uh, 45 standard dunk. Um, the post control is at an 81. 82 on the mid-range shot with an 82-3. Really nice to get both of those there at that 82 level. Allowing you to get the catch and shoot goal, uh, guard up goal, as well as the Claymore goal. Like I was saying in the other build, Claymore goal is nice to have. Um, especially if you off the ball and you just standing there. Really nice to have. Uh, we get that 81 freak though. 75 pass with an 80 ball handle. Remember I told you, 80 ball handle, you need an 81 to get speed booster. But he wouldn't have the speed to get that anyway at the 75 speed. So I, I see why they did that. 65 interior with an 85 perimeter. So we're getting the silver defensive badges. We are getting a 65 steel. They could have just put it at 60 because it's not really getting you anything. But you get interceptor bronze for that 60. Uh, still, uh, we get chase down artist bronze, which is really nice to have uh, with the 68 block. It's definitely nice to have chase down uh, with a 70 defensive rebound. It's actually pretty solid there. Uh, 40 on the um, offense rebound. All of this stuff 
is pretty solid strength matches with the fearless so we do get the fearless at the correct level uh 74 uh vertical have no idea why i think they did it because they were looking at because it say 74 to get chased down but that's for silver chase down so i think they put that there because of that other than that 72 vertical is for area wizard on gold but it is what it is they make some of these builds kind of weird uh but that's that's pretty much it right there with that build like it's a really nice build i do feel like it's worth making if you don't really like the number one uh and you want to have a build that could you know do the same thing or similar things be able to have like a block because a lot of these uh small four builds actually don't have block notice that um but yeah this is one of the few with block but let's get into our number one so our number one is the scotty pippin pip man number 33 the 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 robin the all-time best robin of all time <laughs> So let's get into the Scotty Pippen, bro. We got a 68 close shot, getting us Master Bronze, 77 driving late, getting you that floater, uh, our float game badge on gold, um, 80 driving dunk, really solid to have that. Don't have any post control though. That is one flaw, one glaring flaw. 45 standard dunk, but if you don't use post control, what's the point of having it? You know what I mean? A lot of people don't use it. 75 on the mid range shot with an 80 three pointer, solid there. Uh, but you only get catch and shoot on uh, silver. Uh, like the Tatum one is a little bit better at catching and shooting. Uh, 76 ball handles, 75 speed ball, and the 75 pass I can see. So I would have the lower ball handle and stuff if I can't even get speed booster on silver anyway. It doesn't make sense for me to have it up to like an 80. But they do get you a 76. We get you killer combos on bronze, I believe. You got a 60 interior with this 94 perimeter 94 getting you challenger hall of fame ridiculous man ridiculous he also got that 99 stamina which is netting him i think you get that 90 you get a whole bunch of badges hall of fame 90 99 feet workhorse man man this this scotty pippen build is really nice 81 on the steel uh getting you that silver interceptor uh solid there uh, we get that 68 block steal, which allows us to get that chase down artist, as well as a 66 rebound. Tatum does have a 70, but 66, 70, not really a big deal. Both of them is getting you rebound chaser on bronze anyway. Um, and then we have the 80 speed, 77 excel. That's to make sure you get that gold fast feet and a 74 stream. So you do get the bulldozer on this one, unlike the Brandon Ingram really solid man and then when you read it the true prototype for a two-way wing equally adept on offense and defense capable scoring creator for others and defend several positions at an elite level really nice here man the scotty pippen build man it's i like it a lot see 94 feet holly workhorse holly you see you get all these bronze defensive badges there um let's see let's see we get the interceptor so we get the ankle braces, challenger, 94 feet, workhorse, and off ball pass all on Hall of Fame. Not to mention you get the clamps, pick dodger, and fast feet on gold. Really nice build here, man. This is, I, I, I made a video about this build. I feel like this is the best small four in my opinion. Plus the cherry on top, you get the Giannis layup package being undersized and well under the driving layup limit because with the brandon ingram one if you were 16 you would get it anyway because it had a 90 layup this one only has a 77 layup and you get the Giannis layup package you could green like layups easily with a 77 driving lay and the fact that it gives you Giannis's layup package crazy unless 2k changed it you should have Gian Giannis layup package on this build uh, in the 80 driving dunk, insane, really nice. Get and and I think with with finishing takeover, you can get contact dunks with like if you got a decent driving dunk. Like if you got like an 80, 80 something, I think you can get a lot of contact dunks. Like if you actually go to time it. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. That's it right there. This is this is my number one. This is my number one small forward. I feel like this is the best small forward in the game. But anyway, you guys. Uh, well, best small forward template build in the game. 
uh but anyway you guys can't really subscribe really you guys enjoy the video we got more for y'all soon all right peace no wait <laughs> <laughs> he should have hit the like button